What's up guys? Are you ready for a new learning? I'm going to teach you as fast and as clear as possible. Today's topic is about difference of two squares. But before we proceed to our topic, let's have a short review about perfect squares. Here are some examples of perfect square. As you can see, if we square any number, the result is perfect square. For variables, if the exponent is even number, it is a perfect square. Make sure to familiarize yourself with perfect squares. And for us to determine if the given is an example of difference of two squares, we need to check two things. First, the two terms must be both perfect squares. And second, the operation must be subtraction. And that are the two things we need to check first before we proceed to difference of two squares. Let's try this given x squared minus 9. Are the two terms are perfect squares? And the operation is subtraction. Yes, so let's factor them using difference of two squares. First, we need to put them in their squared form. That is x squared minus 3 squared. Next, to make it easy, prepare these parentheses with operations. Then, just copy the base of the first term and copy the base of the second term. Make sure you know where you copy the bases. And that is our final answer. The quantity of x plus 3 multiplied to the quantity of x minus 3. Another one. x raised to 4 minus 25. Are the two terms are perfect squares and the operation is subtraction? Yes, so let's factor them using difference of two squares. First, we're going to put them in their squared forms. x raised to 4 is equivalent to x squared raised to 2. And 25 is equivalent to 5 squared. Make sure you copy the operation. Next, prepare these parentheses with operations. Then, copy the bases. So, the factored form of x raised to 4 minus 25 is the quantity of x squared plus 5 multiplied to the quantity of x squared minus 5. Another one. Are the two terms are perfect squares and the operation is subtraction? The two terms are perfect squares but the operation is addition. So this is not a difference of two squares. Let's skip this and try another one. Are the two terms are perfect squares and the operation is subtraction? No, because 15 is not a perfect square. Let's try another one. Are the two terms are perfect squares and the operation is subtraction? Yes, so let's factor them using difference of two squares. First, we're going to put them in their squared forms. And then prepare these parentheses. And copy the base of each term. Make sure you follow the pattern where you put each base. And for our answer, the factored form of 36y squared minus 100 is the quantity of 6y plus 10 multiplied to the quantity of 6y minus 10. If you like this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe.